So I can select custom methods, and within custom methods I'm going to scroll down to the method I've created uh, for this particular application, which is a multi-sample um, demonstration. So we'll select that and run that program. Now what this has done uh, straight away is it gives us a header to tell me that this standard requires these particular standards. It's a lanthanum, manganese, magnesium, potassium and sodium standard. And what I have there in front of me is those standards. And what I've actually done for the purpose of demonstration here, and because we're not in a lab, whilst these are the standards, I've actually used here some uh, food dye colours, again, to allow you to see more clearly the aspiration dispensing uh, because of the uh, potent nature of the colours. So it, this is a step, it's actually told us it requires these standards and that's quite correct and I can now say I want to run this program. The first part of the step was exactly as we did in our, our wizard program. It's aspirated the first amount of diluent, but it's, it's asked me to select the length from 10,000 parts per million standard, which I have and I will select it, and I can actually select that in the program. It now asks us to enter the lot ID, and if I scan that under, the lot ID you know is actually included, and I can save that, and now I can take the probe out and start the process, because as you can see, it's actually now named the lot reference. I can now pick up that standard. I'm going to go to the next step, which actually is asking me to aspirate uh, 625 microliters to the standard. So exactly the same as the other step. Pop that in. As you can see, I've picked up 625 microliters. It's then asked me to aspirate an air gap and wipe tip again. So I've done just that, and I can wipe the tip. It's now asked me to select the manganese sample, which I have, and I can. Um, take the next step on, enter the lot ID, you can see in the display, and then we can scan that. So we're, what we have is complete traceability on the standards that we're actually using. Um, we now pick up the next uh, material, so it's actually asking us to aspirate that, 300 microliters. Pick up bigger, and then wipe the tip as it's instructed. Next step was the uh, magnesium. So we can actually look at that. We've entered in the lot ID. It's confirmed. Save that. It's confirming that on the display. Press acknowledge and now it's asking me to aspirate the next volume, 125 microliters. Pick up air gap and wipe the tip. And now selecting potassium standard, I can enter the lot ID again, save, and now we can go to that, pick up that next step, which is 250 microliters. Pick up air gap, wipe tip as instructed there, selecting the last one which was sodium, Enter the lot ID. Confirm. And then we can aspirate the last amount of material there, which is 250 microliters of the sodium standard. Pick up air gap again. Map the tip. And the final step as we previously, is to dispense into a vial. So as you can see, um, we've added some additional information to record the lot reference and the standard itself, information regarding the standard. In a straightforward manner to allow us to get the complete traceability of that new standard which I said before was 250, 120, 100 and 100 parts per million of each of the reference materials. And because 
that this works along your standard workflow, this means that each time we do that it will be exactly the same.